All right, so today we go to Gothenburg, which is the second largest city in Sweden as we leave Stockholm here and too much information, but let me tell you something. This whole train platform, it is one big urinal. Oh my gosh, we came from the staircase way over there and we've walked this far and the whole thing stinks like pee. Sorry, too much information, but it's unavoidable. <laughs> and so in any case, let's go begin the journey to Gothenburg. <laughs> By the way, look at this train station. It's kind of nice inside. It smells like piss outside, but inside is pretty gorgeous. I love the ceiling. Look at this. Wow. Wow. And there is even a pretty fancy food court here. We've got some wings, Burger King, all kind of food before your journey. Alright, so here's the first look at the Swedish train. I guess we've got the seats in the corner. And so, I tell you what, the seating space is pretty darn big. There's a pretty good gap in between Ivana and I. Yeah, I can put my purse. Quite spacious. And there is, in fact, a laptop plug with a good table here. So you could sit here and do some work, no problem. It's a quite spacious train and it looks like we're gonna leave right on time at 12, 13 p.m. So, Swedish trains are <laughs> on schedule so far. Wi-Fi works. Good. Big fan. Bathroom break. Toilet is not so bad. of the Swedish countryside. Some nice, I guess, little lakes or even little ponds. With some pretty green grass for early April, huh? Not bad. Good view. And so, I for one am a huge fan of the Swedish train experience. I feel like the entire car is wider than the trains I'm used to, although I might be hallucinating that. At the very least, the seat we were in was certainly wider than normal and so it was very spacious and everything inside was like brand new and very modern and I am a big fan. Five stars. Five stars. So next up we're going to show you guys our accommodation here in Gothenburg which is a city that sounds very Batman inspired. <laughs> Although I'm sure the locals are sick of that joke so sorry but in any case let's go check our accommodation. And so here is our accommodation. This is the front room here. At first glance I thought this was a kitchen and I thought Oh my gosh, we got scammed. But this is just sort of like a mud room where you can take off your clothes and there is a laundry machine. And the actual accommodation is through here and to the right. And I will say, very nice place. Bed with TV, good placement. Got the couch, got the kitchen, and then there's the lovely Ivana. Now we do have a coffee machine, which is pretty great. It looks like it's very sophisticated, although it is just a simple drip coffee. Kind of familiar. But at first glance, this looks like something right out of chemistry class. But this is a good accommodation for us. This is kind of our size and speed. And the price is about 50 euros a night. I'll write it on the screen because I'm doing math in my head. And then we got the bathroom over here, which more than good enough for us. The lovely Steve in the background. And uh, not bad at all. So it's a good welcome here to Gothenburg. The sun is shining, although I guess it might rain coming soon. So we're gonna hit the streets and see if we can um, explore a little bit of Gothenburg before the rain comes down. Good booking, Ivana. So, first impressions of Gothenburg, Ivana is loving all of the pink trees. So pretty. So nice. I guess they're blooming or blossoming a little bit earlier than most trees because most of the trees are like this, you can see behind me. But the pink ones are such a nice sign of spring coming. And it seems like the parks are full of people uh, awaiting some better weather. It was calling for rain today and it's not raining, so we're feeling lucky about that. I also like in Gothenburg, all of the buildings are pretty low not a lot of tall skyscrapers mm. a lot of like four or five story buildings that have really nice facades with bricks and nice windows sort of a visually attractive city yeah but we are hungry so we've come to the old market or the food food market at the very least so let's check it out so this food hall is really really busy there's everything on sale here from meat 
butcher shop, cheese shop, restaurants, and even fancy restaurants with where they serve like wine. We want to eat here, but everywhere is so packed with people. We yeah, couldn't yeah. find any seats to sit down. So maybe we'll keep going somewhere else and see if we can finally get some food. Yeah, it's an interesting <laughs> place here, but it's busy, man. Yeah, it's so let's so keep busy. it moving. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, so we've come to a place called Haga, which is a 400 or so year old neighborhood here in Gothenburg, which has turned into a pretty big tourist attraction. There's a bunch of cafes around where Yvonne and I just had a lovely sandwich. Now, when you walk the streets here, you'll notice that the buildings have a unique construction where there's concrete or brick on the bottom as a foundation and then wood all the way up. So as you walk around, it does feel like you're sort of going back in time. And for me, it feels a bit like the Wild West with all the wooden buildings. Although I should say it has more of a Gothenburg feel rather than a Western feel because this was in fact the first residential area outside of the city walls built in like 1640s or so. So this is effectively the first suburb of Gothenburg and it's about 400 years old, sort of been gentrified into a tourist attraction nowadays. Now the city wall has been mostly demolished, I believe, but there still is a tower remaining yeah. from 400 some odd years ago so we can go check that out as our last stop today let's keep going and so here we have the medieval tower up on top of the hill originally built to protect the swedes from the danish now i've said this before but stay tuned to our next video we will be in copenhagen because i for one didn't realize denmark was such a big empire i think of them as a small country and so i know that's ignorant but uh we're gonna go to copenhagen and learn more about the danish but first things first let's explore the tower and so quite a good view from up here near the tower and you guys know me i am a fort liked man now to be clear, this is not a full fort, only the tower remains because all of the wall has been demolished. And when you see the tower, first thing you'll notice is it's clearly been renovated and restored. All the stones look brand new, but what stands out is the depth of the walls. Because when you see the window, it's got to be at least four feet thick, the wall, meaning like nearly a meter and a half. So this tower looks battle ready. I really think people back in the day just had a different relationship with death and war and struggling because you don't build something like this in a huge fortified city wall on the off chance that maybe there'll be a war. You do it because you are anticipating fighting for your life at some point. And fast forward to today, I don't even like killing spiders. So things have changed and we can be glad that the tower is just a tourist attraction today and quite popular because there's uh, people all around the weather's getting warmer here and so people are sort of enjoying the view, sitting on the cannons, sitting on the benches and sort of uh, enjoying the tower as a tourist attraction rather than a uh, life-saving military fortification. And so it's been a good day here in Gothenburg. I think we'll finish off with the super massive cinnamon, cinnamon bun. bun. What could be better than that? Let's go. <laughs> be honest. Is that the most beautiful cart you've ever seen or what? Wow, it's good, right? Yeah, true. I want some, though. True. Good marketing. Good advertising. Darn you guys, they sold out of the big cinnamon bun, so we got them in pieces. They still have the pieces. This is the big bun right here. If they still have it, it has to make us your face. Too bad. And so, really good looking cafe here. But unfortunately, like Yvonne has said, the big ones are sold out. Maybe we can show a visual representation of how big the big one would be. It's like this. Right. Or something like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. To be clear, we don't really need the big one in terms of <laughs> the amount of bread. But I wanted the big one. It's cooler. <laughs> Yvonne said I could have the big one. And so anyway, it looks a bit dry. Let's be honest here. It looks dry, no? Yeah, it oh, does. It can't be. This cafe is full of people and has a good reputation. But let's see. <laughs> Still good. Not dry. Ooh, very cinnamon flavor. Mm. Very good. Not overly sweet. Good. Mm. <laughs> now, I will launch one criticism at Gothenburg and in fact Sweden in general. What is this? <laughs> coffee should come in a coffee cup. True. <laughs> 
But anyway, it was a great day in Gothenburg. And stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to Copenhagen. First time ever going there. We're excited for that. You're gonna like it, Ivana. It's good. Yeah, let me try. It's good. In and North the sun's America, going out. In North America, this, if you if you get a good cinnamon bun, it's sticky. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is quite sticky. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. It tastes better than it looks. True. It doesn't look that good. It looks a bit plain and dry. Yeah. But the cinnamon that flavor is good. Mm -hmm. it tastes better than it looks. And love this city. It's. Beautiful. I thought it was gonna be like really, really super boring, but it's quite a treat for your eyes. Very Nailed beautiful, it. especially with the pink trees. I love the pink trees. Pink I pink. think every city in the world should have pink trees. I think everywhere. if you're the mayor of a city and you plant pink trees, mm -hmm. there would be a measurable improvement in people's happiness. Yes, yes, yes. I think so too. I'm pro pink tree. <laughs> Me, I'm a pink, pink tree guy myself. <laughs> okay, later, guys. All right, so this might be the dumbest or the most random thing anyone's ever said in a vlog, but Gothenburg has to be the capital of bike lanes. Everywhere you look, look at the paint job right here. Bikes are going straight, left, right. Humans got to stand in a circle over there. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, what is that? Can I walk over there or not? <laughs> Very North American opinion. Look at that, everywhere you look, the, the paint alone in Gothenburg has got to cost you $10 million a year just to repaint the sidewalks everywhere. Bike and human and bike and human. Oh my gosh, I'm confused where to walk. 